down here in San Diego. Yeah, I'll support my boy Cheeto. And I've always loved this kid from the moment I saw him on the Ultimate Fighter. He's on the opposing team, Team Latin America. I had to love the kid. He was, uh, he was light back then. I didn't think much of him, except for just a great attitude. He didn't really have the work ethic back then, but you know, it's uh, that grows into you. This fight day, we're just, you know, blowing out the lungs a little bit, getting Cheetos right for tonight. You know, when you got a guy that's been out for a while, you don't always know what to expect. You know, Luke's a phenomenal athlete. You know, he's quite a beast, you know, that Paul Acosta. So, you know, you got to take your hat off to Luke and the balls, the nuts that he has to go in there and willing to take on obviously anybody because he's up there in the top 10. He can be champion as well at any time. So, we'll see. Fun. Sometimes people are rusty and some people aren't. Relax. So relax. You haven't burned. You've seen everything. We always have a good time. Um, Luke is somebody I look up to when I was when I was a kid. You know, he's a former strike for champion, UFC champion, and you know, somebody that's been on top of the game. And I think we can pick up stuff from each other, and of course, I can learn from somebody that has been there before than me. You know, so having people that has been there Ooh. definitely make me a little better. I can get a little bit more wiser and just learn from everybody around me. And he's one of those for sure. Uh, Today is uh, the funnest day of camp. And what I mean by that, it's we get to just do technical stuff. It's not a hard uh, uh, blowout. It's, uh, again, the funnest because we get to play around on the bags, you know, reboot some techniques. Uh, nothing's forced. So nonstop punching, hand position, watch yourself. You know, honing is a way of life. It's, it's sharpening your tools. We come in here, this is like a laboratory, and you just get in here and, and become like a, a scientist and think through different scenarios, find problems, and, and create solutions. And that's what we do here. We hone. My mindset with Leon is Leon's a dangerous opponent. He's very game, and, and he believes this is his time. That's one of the hardest part that a lot of people don't understand is when a guy comes up and, and the guy believes that it's his time. You know, even more dangerous that it's, this is his second time fighting me, so he's felt me before. So when he truly believes this is his time and he's going to get it done, that's a very dangerous opponent to deal with, and, and that's kind of what I do best right now. I'm letting these guys know that there's a huge gap between me and them. And I was 20th. I'm gonna let Leon Edwards know that. I came to Salt Lake City um, about two weeks ago. I'm just acclimatized to the air, um, get used to the, the heat, the air, um, the environment, and feels good. I'm looking forward to next week's Saturday. Um, I came to Flankers um, with the team. Oh! Nice head kick. We're about to enjoy um, this evening, watch some fights um, in San Diego for Dominic Cruz is fighting. So I'm looking forward to cheering them on and it's going to be an, uh, get, get them ready for next weekend, you know? There is no weaknesses. We can submit you. Zero weaknesses. You hear that? <laughs> Zero. The world will recognize and look at my resume and say, holy crap. Everybody. Work time. Work time. I'm about to say, yeah. it's yeah. like you get you wrong. Yeah, you're looking at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to get that yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 yeah, let me touch that liver real quick. All right. Coaches are right there. So? The coaches would have loved you dropping them. I know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Keep talking to <laughs> practice. Right after I did that, I did it. <laughs> I went and talked to the CU football team, and after they, a guy was a, he was a boxer, but he didn't say anything, and he said something about body shots, and I was like, you can try, and he swung really hard, and he went, I think I gave him two or three, and then I was nice back to him, I him. I hit him hard, but not hard enough. Distance, 
can take them. They get the fire dance. Yeah. They're gonna have to get too, they're gonna have to get too fire yeah. now. Yeah. That's a big right hand, dude. Oh! 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 Yeah, he got it off. He did win the first round, though. Yeah. Did he get a 10-8? He needed that. 29-27. No, they're going to go. No. Yeah. That means they're 10-8 in there. Huh? They're 10-8 in there. Second round. Yeah. It was close. Backstage. The Pachinga Arena, Cheetos fight. One week from my fight, the energy's right. Feeling the fire, man, it feels different. I love this, it's been a long ways, long ride. It's good to get it back, get this feeling back, see all my boys. I'm ready for next week. Kill shots. We got the kill shot, baby. It's my man. It's just what I need. It's perfect. Ain't nothing. I couldn't ask for anything more. I love this kid. This kid is a, gave me the energy to kind of the, the, the understanding to come back. You know, it's like feeling that energy from Prillo and him and putting for everybody. <laughs> it's everything, you know. So we got to do this fight game. We got to do it with love. And I lost that for a long time. Have a meaning. Have a purpose. I got a purpose now, I got a reason. <laughs> you know, I lost my track and it didn't mean anything for a while after the title. <laughs> now I got purpose. I found it, thanks to the people. You know, surround yourself by good people, good environment, get yourself in a good place, and the world comes to you. <laughs> 